Closing arguments in the latest capital murder trial of alleged serial killer Billy Chamirmir are scheduled for first thing tomorrow morning. Andrea Lucia was in court today as testimony wrapped up. Andrea, what's the latest there? Well, the prosecution and defense both rested a little over an hour ago, and Billy Shamirmir, when given the chance, chose not to take the stand in his own defense. His attorneys also called no witnesses, but the burden here is on the prosecution, and the defense intends to argue tomorrow that the prosecution simply didn't make its case beyond a reasonable doubt. Shamir Mir is on trial for the capital murder of Mary Brooks, one of 22 women whose murders he's been indicted for. It is his third trial. The first ended with a hung jury, the second with a conviction. This trial was the first in which we've seen DNA evidence presented, connecting Shamir Mir to yet another alleged victim, Martha Williams. The final witness of the day today was an FBI agent specializing in cell phone tracking who tied the prosecution's argument together. He showed how Shamir Mir's phone traveled from the Walmart, where he was seen at the same time as Mary, at the same time as Mary Brooks to the area around her home where she was later found dead and then at a golden jewelry exchange where he's accused of selling her jewelry. If prosecutors win a conviction for capital murder, Shamir Mir will once again receive an automatic life sentence. It has been their goal to have two life sentences against him to ensure should one conviction ever get tossed out, there is another to guarantee he stays behind bars. Victims' families have told me in the event of a conviction, they will be allowed to give victim impact statements addressing Shamir Mir directly for the first time. Live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.